So today I'm going to be teaching us on how to set up a smartwatch. Basically, I'm setting up the i20 Ultra Max suit, and this device uses the High Watch Ultra application. So first thing you need to do first is to ensure that you turn on your smartwatch. And to turn it on, um, this is the power button. Press and hold it for some seconds. Our smartwatch is on. Um, so remember this application, and this is the application, the High Watch High High Watch Ultra. It's not exclusive for just this um, particular device. It's not just exclusive for this i20 Ultra Max suit. Some other smartwatches use this application. So for you to set it up, um, either you scan the barcode on the device, you could just go to your um, Play Store. If you're using iOS, which is an um, iPhone, this processes is the same you're using an android it's still the same go to your play store or you can go to your app store if you're using a um an, an, an iphone um you go to your search bar search app you type in the high watch ultra you can see i already typed it here you know when you search for this high watch ultra it is just going to give you this it will give you this pop-up right to give you this pop-up here I mean, uh, not a pop up, it will show you the high watch ultra here. So, this is the high watch ultra here, and this is the high watch ultra here. All right, that is the high watch ultra. Install to click on install. Now, when you click on install, it's going to commence installation. The second means on installing the application is you head over to your device. This is your device, you know, let it come on. You know, from the down, you swipe up. When you swipe up, you know you come to this place this is the application okay this is the application now we'll go over to our google um screen you know this is the device i'm going to use to scan the barcode now you ensure to scan the barcode now you click on the search when you click on the search it's when you're scanning the barcode ensure your data is on you know you see it has detected the application now you click on this you click on this Now this is it. So for iOS, for iOS users, you go to your App Store. For Android user, you go to your server. For Android user, you come to this server download. For iOS user, which is Apple, this is where you get your, you know, App Store. You go to your App Store. So for, I'm using an Android, so I'll just go over there to download the application. Now I already downloaded this before. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll download it again. So you download the application. Let's allow it to download. So our application has been downloaded. Now let's open. We need to open for it to install. It is actually installing. Install. Okay. Now that you've downloaded the application, you click on open. You have to agree to this user protocol. You know, please read carefully and fully understand the terms and user policy agreement. Ensure to read the um, um, user protocol and then you click on the agree. So you are here. Ensure that you set up these processes. And I will just go briefly. You can actually skip this process. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to skip. It is not mandated that you're going to register it. Now we are here. So you come over. There is this. You have your at the top left here. At the top down here, you have four main, main menus here. So here you have your you have your home, you have your device, you have your motion, you have your mail. Okay, so to set up this device, we need to go over to device. Now, when you hear on device, now you see here, where you say go to bind. You click on go to bind. Ensure that at this point, the Bluetooth of your phone is on and your GPS. So it will give you this pop-up, allow 
only while using and actually asking for your device location to give it permission so you have to allow it's a must now it's going to search for this device now you can see that it has found the 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 the, the watch this is it the watch ultra now when it comes here you click on it it will have to all these have to be connected bluetooth base completed time setting it's going to automatically set your time you don't need to set your time user profile is going to set up itself and then tax setting now you would see that it has connected but you have to wait a while it is important to wait a while so that it perfects the bluetooth connection good it has given you this also wait a while now you see it gives us something it did not connect now whenever you have this go to reset device reset your device whenever you have that go to reset device that means that it did not connect properly so you reset your device for it to start over the process again to connect your device okay so we have reset our device it has connected again automatically uh, but we are still waiting for a pop-up the bluetooth has not fully paired it has to give us a bluetooth notification for us to pair and we did not see it good it has come up now so pair and connect allow pair now if it did not give you this bluetooth notification for you to pair and connect the setup is not successful you will find out that at the point of time you'll be missing one thing or the other so whenever you did not get that always go to reset device when you reset the device you know even if it didn't come that first time you do it again you know if it didn't come again you do it again maybe at a total um, or so it has to give you that and then you connect and down your smartwatch is fully connected now let's check our, um, our bluetooth you see it is connected to watch watch ultra audio it is connected to it so now you can make call with it you know you can receive notifications with it you can you know every functionalities you need it is now okay now let us set up the notification you come here this message push you come to message push you click on message push this is you allowing you know i don't usually like call reminders you know i don't set call reminders i usually or basically set sms this is basically the basic thing i need always ensure you agree the basic thing i need for my smartwatch allow message you know allow it so the basic thing i need for my smartwatch is sms i don't usually like every other notifications note that the more notifications you get on your smartwatch the lesser your battery life tends to stay note that so for whatsapp i would want to you know turn on whatsapp notification this is for tutorial purposes right so you turn on your ensure to toggle it on it will ask you to notification with permission it will ask you to open ensure you open now you come to your watch ultra this is your watch ultra here where you see your watch ultra give it the permission allow you see that your watch ultra is turned on you go back go back now you turn you click on it again that is it okay now we can seemingly receive notifications on our smartwatch seemingly receive notifications so you might want to turn on every other notifications agree whatever that suits your preferences just uh, and ensure to allow them okay whatever that suits your preferences just ensure to allow you know turn them on here let's say you want to turn on twitter okay you want to turn on facebook you want to turn on instagram you know whichever application you feel you use you want to turn on you can turn them on here let's say you also want to turn on snapchat you know these are list of applications you can turn on here okay we'll go back now this is your alarm for you if you want to set up alarm this is alarm um i don't usually set up alarm this is sedimentary reminder um that is sitting and standing position if you're sitting for a long time it will remind you hey you're sitting for a long time if you stand on for a long time it reminds you hey, you're standing for a long time okay you just set it on give it preferences on how you want it to be and that's that's it now find phone the find phone is in case i mean find find is in case you lost 
your you don't know where you kept your smartwatch and you want to find your smartwatch you go over to the find now you ensure you see that your smartwatch is is beeping it beeps it beeps you just know where it is it beeps Woo! that is wow okay <laughs> it beeps good and also from your smartwatch you can find your phone let's say you are holding your smartwatch and then you don't know where your phone is i always like using this particular thing so and you don't know where your smartphone i mean you don't know where your phone is you could just come to your smartwatch you know this is where you see looking for oh wow you see i got a message notification and it came on my smartwatch i'll show you over again in a short while so you see where you see looking for when you click on looking for sorry let's go over this again you click on looking for good this is looking for starts now the bracelet is looking for a mobile phone okay wow you see we got an instagram notification we got an instagram notification okay that is that for notification all right um now remote shuttle remote shuttle is in short to allow remote shuttle is if you allow okay it's you wanting to use you using your phone i mean your smartwatch as uh you know as a record you know you see that's taking a shot using your smartwatch as a remote to control the camera of your phone let's say you've given yourself a position how you want it to be you can either be you know you know from your rear view okay or you want it to capture you from the you know um, from the front view however you want it um then you come to your phone you see you click on the start and bam it has taken a picture from the rear view that is it okay. so and then you see race to wake race to wake race to wake is basically when you turn it on whenever you you know you want to check your time it automatically dims up i mean it automatically is um waking up the light of your smartwatch I usually like turning this feature on you set according to your preference frequent contacts let's say one contact here and this is where you click on the plus button here you know the plus button here to add a contact let's add a contact let's add the contact of shop around and um, shop around shop around and then what is the number of shop around so you hit the ok button and then you save the number now we have saved this number is on our die list okay on our frequent contact now you go to to customize your watch font your watch face this is the place the dial settings now on this dial setting click on the dial settings gives you the numbers of dial you know available to use to customize your watch font now each of these you know customize on the watch face but i want to use my picture so you go down go down now you see the custom dial you see we have the custom dial here so these three men and these three themes down here are all custom dial so whichever one you think you like let me use this last one as um to set up my custom dial let me use this one this theme to set up my custom dial i click on the theme it open up now you see select image select image you click on select image now it go to your gallery uh, i want to select a picture so let me just use this picture uh -huh. let me just use this picture. oh use this picture good and that is wow now this is it so here what you do here is now it is basically the timing position now it is position on the upper left that is why you see this timing here now if you click on upper right it changes the timing position you click on lower left it changes the timing position you click on at the bottom it changes the timing position but i like upper right upper left sorry and so let's leave it at the upper left we click on installation install now look at the device um, um click on install 
got it you know now see your device now you see that it is loading we're going to allow this until it hits 100 percent and then we are good to go okay so now you see that our device is good you find out that our device has fully installed and then it's the watch face has been customized now what can you see here this is the face my face on my watch on my smartwatch oh, wow i'm still getting notification right let's just keep this here right good i suppose you can see it oh wow so that is that for this you just go back go back you know reset devices if you want to reset your device remove devices if you want to remove this device completely from this application others is um vibrating settings you know you turn it on it will be vibrating okay and then your otg um, ota upgrade is actually the application if it needs upgrade so we don't need that then go so we are going to test out the call um the call function of this smartwatch now i'm going to dial a number on this smartwatch and say and then we see how we go to then you go to your dialer you know then type in the number you want to call zero nine want to die zero nine zero nine one one three one zero seven one four two seven one four two click on the die hit on the dial you see you, you see that it's showing the name shop around i want to call shop around you see call ended good now when you want whatever number you save on the contact of your smartwatch if you dial the number or you receive a call from the number it will show the name but if that number is not saved on your frequent contacts the name will not show okay so you need to you know impute some numbers on your frequent contacts so as soon as you receive a call you know it will show on your smartwatch or you can use your smartwatch to also call that same number all right so let us go to um, our frequent contact from our application do we have it on our application okay see go to your phone book we already have shop around on our phone book click on shop around it is styling shop around already it is styling shop around already this is superb right this is superb okay so that is that for this tutorial if you have any concern that you still want uh, me to address you can just you know leave a comment i mean you know, drop it on the comment section and i will answer you okay ensure to like you know and then turn on to the subscribe and also subscribe to receive more updates from any smartwatch you might be in need of